The replication game is a competition designed to find improvements, optimizations, and bugs in proof of replication or PoRep constructions. You can outperform other participants in the game by making improvements upon the existing replication algorithm and by making hardware optimizations. The goal is to submit the fastest replication time to the game server. In this demo, we will play the replication game by running our current PoRep implementation, which is called the ZigZag PoRep. After we submit our proving time to the game server, we will see our submission on a leaderboard. We can compare our proving system's performance to other participants and make improvements as desired. The full instructions for how to participate in the replication game are on the README. Make sure that you have all of the required dependencies installed, including Rust. We can start by cloning the replication game repo. From the cloned replication game directory, we can compile the game binary. We want to run the game with the default parameters, so let's run the play script, which can be found in the bin directory. The script requires you to specify your player name, the size and kilobytes of data that you want to replicate for the game, and the type of algorithm you want to run. We will specify a size parameter of 1024 kilobytes, or one megabyte of data, and we will run the zigzag PoRep algorithm. Let's take a look at the script output. We first retrieved a seed file from the game server, which contains a timestamp to mark the start of our replication time, as well as a seed to ensure that we cannot cheat the game by generating a PoRep in advance. Next, we started the replication and proving process using our player name, the retrieved seed, and timestamp, specified data size, and algorithm type. After replicating the data and generating a zigzag proof of replication, we posted the proof to the game server so that our results could be seen on the leaderboard. Note that you can also run the game with many other parameters to see how this affects your replication time. To learn more about these different options and how to use them, you can view the repo README. Let's take a look at how we did. We can access the leaderboard from the command line or from a browser, but we'll stay in the command line for now. We run the show leaderboard script, which requires a size in kilobytes to use as a filter for the leaderboard results. This is to ensure that we are seeing leaderboard results that are more directly comparable with our own game submission. We'll pass in 1024 kilobytes, since this is the size of the data that we replicated earlier. You can see the submissions from other game participants, including the other parameters that they supplied to the game. And here we are. Sadly, we're near the bottom of the leaderboard, but we can improve our game time by optimizing the Filecoin replication algorithm, or even by trying different hardware optimizations and configurations. Then we will compete in the replication game again. The replication game is a fun way to benchmark your Filecoin proving system against others, it is also a great way to contribute to the Filecoin network. By participating in the game, you can help us build better and faster proving systems. Compete in the game by visiting github.com slash filecoin dash project slash replication dash game.